Welcome once again. It has been revealed that one of the world's biggest banks helped clients avoid paying millions of dollars in tax. Thousands of accounts from HSBC's private bank in Switzerland, leaked by a whistleblower, show bankers helped some clients evade tax and offered deals to help tax dodgers stay ahead of the law. The accounts are from 2007 and the bank says that it has now changed practices. With me is Chris Roebuck, Visiting Professor of Transformation Leadership from Cass Business School. Welcome to the programme. So, uh, you know, banks, it is the jobs of banks, the job of banks to advise their clients on their tax affairs. So where do you draw the line on that? It can be extremely complicated because every country has different tax laws and you can do this here or you can't do it there and the banks have to get it absolutely right and the governments are implementing different laws all the time. But the simple rule should be that the bank should not do anything that is illegal in the home country of the customer. Right, but tax is not a black and white affair, is it? No, no, no. And, and it's, it is perfectly legal to structure your tax affairs in a way that minimises your tax, but it is illegal not to pay the tax that is due when those affairs have been structured. And that appears to be what's happened here. I think the key question is, why did this happen in HSBC? Why did somebody in the bank do something that they should have known was wrong? And is this sort of thing potentially still happening? And how have the banks addressed address these challenges? We know when a, a, an issue or a question is raised at one bank, it is often fairly endemic to the Indeed. banking profession as a whole. So yes. one can assume that this may not be the only case. There have been numerous other banks who have been picked up by different countries in terms of doing this sort of thing. I think the question is, why would people in a bank at mid-level helping customers do something that is patently it, to some degree illegal and and that's the question i think we we should be asking uh, it's obvious that the people at the top of the organizations are not saying look just break the law we don't care because that would be suicidal for any chief executive or board but i suspect the issue is that what these people are saying is you have to make money and do it legally and do it ethically and look after your customers but by the time it gets to the people who are actually doing the work it's only the bit about you need to make money at all costs that is heard and they think that if they cut corners to make things more successful, to make more money, it will reflect well on them because they're meeting their targets and they're bringing in profits. And therefore, they do things perhaps they shouldn't because the culture of the organization is not saying clearly this behavior is right and this behavior is wrong. Which is very interesting that banks still have yeah. not learned that lesson. All the banks have said that they have put significant efforts into changing their cultures, making sure that this will never happen again. The feeling that I have is that they have put lots of resources in and that the people at the top of the organisations and maybe for the next two levels down have absolutely got it. The question is, have all the people further down who do the work absolutely got it? And I would suspect that the message hasn't necessarily percolated down and changed behavior at that level, because what the banks are doing is not really hitting the spot with those people. It's making them think about it, but it might not be changing behavior. Mm -hmm. And the other thing is that Switzerland, in this particular case, is now bound to hand over information that previously it wasn't. So at a state-to-state -state level, there is some transparency that wasn't there before. Absolutely. There is more transparency. But also we, we need to remember that in Switzerland, if you are a banker and you disclose any information about your client to anybody anywhere in the world, you can go to jail because it's a criminal offence. But what is, I think is a critical point about this is if people do things wrong in banks, people also do things wrong to try and improve profits or make themselves look good in other organisations. And if we look at the corporate disasters we've seen over the last 50 years, Gulf of Mexico, Bhopal, all of these come down to the same point, which is somebody in the middle of the organization did something they shouldn't have done because the people at the top didn't make sure that what was right, what was wrong, and what was acceptable was clear to everybody. Thank you very much indeed, Chris Roebuck. Thank you.